Hey everyone, it's Brian here, your honest mechanic. Today, I want to provide a thorough overview of the common symptoms of a bad or failing fusible link in your car. Many folks don't even know what a fusible link is or that their vehicle has them, so I'll start with a brief explanation. A fusible link is a wire that acts like a fuse but protects an entire circuit rather than just one component. It is made of lower gauge wire designed to fail and burn out before any higher gauge wires in the circuit it feeds. Fusible links are a smart safety feature that effectively minimize extensive electrical damage. You'll typically find them bundled together in boxes around the battery or in the wiring harness running to the fuse box. Now what sort of issues can a compromised fusible link present? Well, the most telling symptoms generally revolve around strange, irregular behaviors of anything electrical in your car. Here's a full rundown. The first clue is the car completely or partially not starting when you turn the key or hit the start button. You might hear some clicking noises, but the engine fails to turn over and ignite. This no-start scenario results from power flow disruption to essential components like the starter motor or fuel pump by the blown link. Another very common symptom is random electrical accessories, lights and systems dying. This includes headlights and tail lights flickering or going out entirely, interior dome lights malfunctioning, stereo or HAVC electrical gremlins. A bad fusible link cuts off the power supply to these accessory circuits across the vehicle unexpectedly. You may also notice the check engine light coming on for questionable reasons and all sorts of erroneous trouble codes stored as a result of bad fusible link. This happens because many engine management sensors, solenoids, and computer systems are not receiving proper, stable voltage through the link. Intermittent power loss can additionally produce dimming or pulsating headlights when engine load increases. When you are at idle, the faulty fusible link may provide enough power flow, but attempting to drive or accelerate forces it over its limit demonstrated through fluctuating headlight output. In general, you may experience entirely random, difficult-to-diagnose electrical issues in unrelated systems. Bizarre warning lights, temporary digital display blackouts, electric windows sticking, a whole grab bag of possible gremlins. The shaky circuit created by the compromised fusible link generates irregular power delivery. You also may notice that fuses keep rapidly blowing in a specific circuit over and over. This points to the fusible link allowing excessive amperage to reach those fuses because its wire size can't adequately handle the full load anymore. Those fuses essentially act as the next fail-safe in line for that circuit. Finally, pay attention under the hood for any scorched, melted, or discolored wire insulation and connectors in proximity to fusible link housings. Significant localized overheating as current passes through the degraded smaller gauge fusible link wire indicates trouble. I consider this discovery a dire warning sign not to ignore. Now determining you likely have a bad fusible link is the first step, but confirming it requires specific troubleshooting and testing procedures. The issue can mimic many other basic electrical faults like bad alternators, batteries, or starter motors. So proper diagnosis is key before just replacing parts unnecessarily and wasting money. The easiest first test is simply visually checking all your fusible links for obviously damaged connectors or housings. But physical inspection alone doesn't always reveal compromised internals. To dig deeper, you need to grab a multimeter and confirm if power is even making it to the other side of each link when the ignition is on or the engine running. Any voltage dropouts point to the bad link. If you don't have tools or confidence for DIY electrical testing, the smart play is having your vehicle checked over by a professional technician. They have the expertise and advanced equipment to correctly identify if a bad fusible link is the root cause of abnormalities. Replacement of compromised fusible links is fast and affordable at most repair shops. I hope this overview gives you a better understanding of what fusible links are and how they operate in your vehicle's electrical architecture. More importantly, you now know the telltale symptoms of when it's time to investigate a potential bad one wreaking havoc. Catching faulty fusible links early on provides huge prevention against dangerous total electrical system failure situations.